Okay, I'm not uh, quite sure what the actual date is. I think it's the 5th or 6th of October. It's 3.30 about. Um, I'm not sure where I'm at. I've never been here before. I'm assuming this, like there's not a single private property sign in sight. I Google Maps the hell out of this place and like did some research. Um, there's not a, like there's no, no buildings, no nothing down this road. Um, this road's called River Road. Um, so I should be fine. There was a tree across the road too, which like also is nice. So I, that, my car's back there by the tree. Um, I'm gonna fish. Uh, this is the Little Schuylkill River. This is um, pretty far up from where I normally fish. I've never been to this spot before. So, I'm gonna check it out and hopefully it'll uh, pan out. Fishing with most of my own flies today. I might use a couple drives just as indicators, but that's that. I'll let you know if I catch anything. All right, I'm down at the river. I freaking picked the steepest part to come down, I, I guess. Um, jumped a couple deer on my way down. I'm starting, I've got a black and uh, tannish brown woolly bugger on there to start. One that I tied, about size eight. And that's what's up. cool train bridge i believe right here i don't it doesn't look like it's in in service anymore um a bunch of trees growing across it and such but neat adds a little bit of uh scenery to the fish i haven't gotten any bites yet though Oh, wasn't recording, but I got a fish on. I don't know what it is. It's kind of small. Oh, it's a trout. Nice. Let's just do it like that since uh, I can. Ah, perfect. First fish of the day. A little, uh, I don't know. I don't know if he's wild or not, but he's definitely lively. I don't see any scarring on his face or, uh, he doesn't have a white line though. So I don't know, might be wild, might not be wild. First fish of the day and he's out of here. I was honestly wondering if I was gonna catch any fish. Slightly disappointed in myself. I was like, what's going on, man? Hell yeah. Caught on um, a little woolly bugger here. Little uh, red body and black hackle and black tail. Bam. All right. I switched it and tied on just uh, an all black bugger. Um, just because the chenille uh, fills out the body more than the uh, red, like orangish red. Um, it's thicker, it looks better, in my opinion. So. Might get something out of the same hole with the different bugger there. Tied on a uh, squirmy wormy. Um, didn't get anything with that black bugger. So we're gonna try this. We're gonna try this guy out for a couple minutes. There's always goddamn trains when I'm trying to fish, man. Slightly, uh, slightly agitating. There's the train right there. 
and I'm fishing right here. Haven't gotten any hits on that uh, squirmy wormy yet. So I think I might switch it up yet again to like a pheasant tail or something. Probably a pheasant tail. Just as I thought the train was done, it reversed and now it's going the other way. Still have the squirmy wormy on though. All right, um, today's outing might not be made into a uh, video because I can't fucking catch more than one fish, I guess. Um, but it's fine. I have a, a pheasant tail tied on there now, beadless, um, and an indicator. So we're gonna try that. Um, and then, and then, yeah, I don't know. If I don't catch like a couple more fish, then I'm just gonna stop recording. And then I bet when I stop recording, I'll just catch a bunch of fish. So that's normally how she goes. This place looks all right. This spot. <coughs> this looks like bugger territory though. So I might have to throw on my woolly bugger again. All right, I tied on a black woolly bugger. Oh my God, oh my God. This, uh, a bunch of these stretches look really, really good. Like, like this one just like has fish written all over it. Like bruiser fish too. Cause that faster water and you know, like that, like hell yeah. That was literally instant. That was instant, dude. Maybe not a bruiser, but it's a fish. We got him in the net. Nice little fish. Hang on, bud. On the black woolly bugger. There he is, probably like a 10, 11 incher, something like that. We're just gonna let him go. Nice, two fish on the day. That second one took a freaking while, baby. I'm glad that, I'm glad that one happened. That one made me feel good, I'm just like, yeah, this section looks good. Looks like it's got a fish in it. I mean, like I said, it wasn't a bruiser, but it was a fish and that's, uh, it's nice to have affirmation when something looks fishy and you catch a fish and you're like, huh, I knew it was fishy. Hell yeah. There's another one. Oh, that one feels better. That one feels better, for sure. Or maybe it's just in current. Yeah, it's just in current. Fish number three, baby. Let's go. I'll take it all day. All day. Look at that. Quick release with the fly popping out of his mouth. And there's a little fishy fishy. Get out of here, boy. Definitely a different fish. I can say that with confidence. Um, if you notice, that one's uh, red spots uh, were nowhere near as vibrant <coughs> as the other one. On that size eight black bugger, baby. Hell yeah. My buggers catch fish. What can I say? None of my, all right, none of my nymphs that I've tied so far um, have caught trout. I've caught fall fish with uh, my uh, pheasant tail and my mop fly but I haven't caught trout with any of the nymphs I've tied this far, or thus far. Um, it's mildly disappointing, um, but not altogether discouraging. So I'm gonna keep trying with them. You know, I'm not gonna give up on them. I'm gonna keep tying them uh, and get better. It might just be because they look so goddamn wonky that they're not even like, the fish don't register that that's supposed to be food. But hey, fish number three. It's 
water is moving kind of fast, but I'm trying to hit it right in that pocket there. Um, kind of hard to uh, explain what I mean. I'm trying to hit it right, uh, right where, right at the end, right there, where all that white water is. But um, it's a little tricky just because of how fast the water's moving. And uh, I keep fucking up my, uh, my, my cast. Oh yeah, the uh, first fish and the second fish were an hour apart, by the way. I don't know if I said that. Um, <clears throat> I was just casting and uh, the hackle fell off of this woolly bugger, but the, the whip finish didn't come undone. The hackle just slipped out. Uh, I guess the end of the feather uh, wasn't secured as well as it could have been. Um, I'm gonna run this woolly bugger just a little bit longer and then I'll probably replace it for one that has a tackle. I'm gonna try it in this, I'm trying it in this little pocket here. Oh, oh, that was a fish, there was a fish. I just missed one. Oh, that's the snag for, oh. I thought that was gonna be snagged. Last one. There he is. There he is. That's a good one. Oh my. That's a fucking good one. That's a good one. Oh. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes. Oh shit, what the hell's wrong with you? Damn, dude. Look at that. What's wrong with this fish? There's like a huge indentation right there and it's all black. All right, we'll not keep you out of the water too long, bud. Get the get the fly out of them. Let's let them sit here in the net, re recover a little bit. Dang. What's wrong with this fish? All right, we'll let them go. Whenever you're ready, pal. There he goes. Hell yeah, best one of the day right there. Fish number four. Um, in my head, I was thinking that was probably about a 14, 15 inch fish, but I'm gonna go ahead and say now that that's probably like a 13 incher. Um, 13 to 14 inches, I'll give that fish. Oh yeah. <coughs> All right. I'm thinking I might need to uh, take a little jump over to the other side um, of the of the stream for this whole section because it's I don't have a lot of, of working room. It, it gets kind of deep, um, like right here, like right where I'm standing. If I took another step forward, I'd be in like two and a half, three feet of water. And that's more than I'd like to be in right now. Cause I've done pretty good at staying like kind of dry. So I, I wanna I wanna keep doing that as long as I can really. Um, so yeah, I think I'm gonna hop over to the other side cause it looks like there's like a little bit more leeway over there. I'm just gonna take a few casts over here first and catch a fish. Oh, that's a nice one. That's a pretty decent fish. Come on. Come on, Mr. Brownie boy. 
Damn, he's a good fish. He doesn't want to come in though. Oh, that's a nice wild. And we got him. Damn, that's a tank, dude. We might need to measure this guy. Oh, geez. Look at this brute. Damn, dude. He's longer than my freaking forearm. Look at that. Probably can't see it very well. No. Oh, shit. I dropped him. <laughs> it's okay. He's still hooked. <laughs> Come back. Come back. Get back in my net. Ugh. All right. We got him in the net. Um, I'm going to just set him down here and uh, set my pole down as well. Um, and I'm going to get my measuring uh, utensil. Freaking nice fish. Oh, he just splashed me and I got all up in me. Hang on, buddy. Hang on, buddy. Hang on, buddy. Hang on. Hang on. All right, he's right there. Let me measure him. Probably can't see it. 19 incher. All right, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> this is awesome. Get a nice look at this fish. And just so you can see, He's like freaking, but freaking large. All right, we're gonna let him go. Take one nice look at him. Oh yeah. Look at the reds on that guy. Look at the reds in his tail. Oh, beautiful fish. And we'll let him go whenever he's ready. You ready to take off, bud? He's almost ready. Whenever he pulls out of my hands, that's that's usually when I give him the okay. Beautiful fish. All right, I'd say he's good. There he goes. See him right there? Actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna grab him again and make sure he's really good to go. Oh, yep, he's good. When I went to reach for him, he took off. Fuck yeah, dude! 19 inch wild brown on one of my own personally tied flies. That is a fantastic feeling. Let me tell you, that is a, an amazing feeling. I'm I'm very excited right now. Very excited. And by the looks of this section, I'd say there's going to be at least one more close to his size that I'm going to catch. <sighs> oh, but shit. My bugger's coming untied. It's all right. I've got a couple more. We're going to have to tie a couple more of these. Fuck yeah, dude. That was awesome. There it is. My camera. It's weird. Like the mount. Oh, a fish, just, a fish just chased it. I saw him. Come back. Is he going to come back? I don't think so. We're going to throw it right back out there, though. I definitely saw a fish flash. There he is. Oh, he's a decent sizer, too. Dang. Dang, these fish are fat. Let's go. Shit. I'm in a bad spot to land a fish, honestly. Um, let me get him, get him in the net. All right. This one's got a fat belly on him. Look at that. 
Look at that belly. Dang. Dang, man. Oh, she just squirted eggs all over my leg. Shit. Oh, God damn it. Freaking fish. Oh, and my line's all tangled up. I gotta untangle my line quick. Get you in your net. All right, I guess I'm gonna have to grab my pliers out of my pocket. Mildly inconveniencing. Sorry, mama. Let me get you out of here. I'll try not to squeeze out any more of your eggs. All right, there we go. Beautiful female brown trout. Nice colors on her. Oh yeah. And we'll let her go right here. And she's ready. She's gone. Hell yeah, babe. Fish, babe. Hell yeah, babe. <laughs> Baby, fish number five or something like that. Hell yeah. That one was probably only, uh, I don't know, 13, 14 inches, but ah, not even. That one was probably 12, 13. Um, still a good looking fish. Nice and healthy. <sighs> My line's all snagged up in this stupid ass tree. All right, I'm gonna write that guy down quick and then we'll get back to fishing. Fish, oh shit, that was a cool, that was cool. Probably couldn't, see, you, I mean, you definitely couldn't see it, it was underwater, but I could see it because I'm right here. Uh, the fish like just came from the deeps and just smacked it. Kind of. Still gotta do the stupid shit. Oh my God. But if I fall forward, like I'm literally gonna be done. Like I'm gonna be soaked. I'm gonna be angry. All of the above, man. There's a road up there. Interesting. Honestly, I have no clue where I'm at. I, I just know that I'm on the, the little Schuylkill River. Um, well, I'm near uh, someplace called Tamaqua. I know that's like the closest town to where I'm at. And uh, I mean, to me and my abilities, this looks like it's not something that I'm gonna be able to fish with a streamer. Um, so rather than retie, I'm just gonna start walking back so I can get back to my car before dark. Since I just thought of this, I don't have my freaking, I don't have a flashlight, right? I don't have my headlamp. Um, and uh, it's about to get dark and my phone's about to die. So we're gonna, and crawl up this hill get up here because it looks like it levels off <sighs> oh my goodness but it also looks like it might be someone's proper tay but yeah whatever it's fine hey <laughs> haven't seen any signs yeah, um, it's about seven o'clock now, and uh, I'm gonna walk back to my car. I might throw in at a couple spots if I um, if they're accessible to me easily, and then that's that. <coughs> <coughs> oh, 
<laughs> um, yeah, if you watched all the way, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Like and subscribe, you know, ring those bells and such. Um, that's it. Man, I didn't realize how far I'd actually walked. Um, I was like taking a break, you know, and I Google Maps. Um, I went four and a half fucking miles. Whew. God damn. And now I'm on, uh, I'm on the road because, uh, oh, that guy's got a cool car. Hell yeah. That was, that was a dope car. Um, yeah, uh, four and a half miles in just like three-ish, three and a half, four hours, something like that. I was moving at least a mile an hour. But yeah, that was a good little, it's a good little walk on the way back. And uh, now I'm, I'm like probably a uh, quarter of a mile away from my car. But yeah, it was a good walk, good fish. And this is just another recap. And uh, you know, here's a scoop of river sign. I'm on the bridge now, the, the original uh, um, car bridge. And uh, yeah, that's pretty close to where I started. So signing off.